Hey guys, <clears throat> I thought I'd give you a quick update on the battery. So this is the battery that I opened up. Uh, let me slide these little bad boys off. Okay, so I uh, zip tied them because, let me see, I, I was nervous about this before, but now. Okay, so this is the old laptop battery, uh, laptop battery. Uh, if you notice, it's a little bit different. This is coming through here. I know it shouldn't, and it's a little bit tight, as you can. I didn't really want to do this, but I don't have any other wire. Uh, anyway, uh, as you can see, it's actually working, and it turns off. Andrew told me to make sure to pay attention to that. Thanks, Andrew, for the lookout. Uh, but yeah, I changed the battery. It took a little bit longer than I expected. I wanted to record it, but I was so nervous, like, and I wanted to make sure when I record, sometimes I'm not really paying attention that much, and I didn't want to fuck this up, basically, uh, but I didn't. I was super fucking pumped, because when I tried the first time, it wasn't working, and I tried to take the multimeter, and I noticed that it was just like, if you can see, like, glob, like a blob in there, kind of, right here, around here. And I guess I didn't put enough solder or whatever, whatever, and this is just same thing here, too. Like, I just think the connector wasn't, if you notice, it kind of like burned a little bit here. So I think it was that. I don't really know. But anyway, um, I I uh, tested it, and it was working just fine. Let me see if I put this back the way it should be. Uh let's see if it's still working. Yep, everything's okay. So I changed the battery like I wanted to. I'm uh, super zip pumped up because basically I was just I just something something that I really wanted to do and I was really nervous to do and I didn't I don't really know that much about electronics but the batteries first of all are the same size so they fit in this box. It's a little bit if you notice it bumps up a little bit right here just a smidge and there was a little bit of um. There was a like a plastic in the inside, so I just took a plier. It was a little bit of plastic kind of sticking out in the in this side, and I just snapped it off to give it more space. And I don't want to glue it just in case I have to go inside the battery again. But with the zip ties, it stays pretty tight. And then uh, when I don't use it, I just cover it up like this. And um, yeah, and the battery it works. And I check the voltage. When I first checked the battery voltage, it was like 2 point something on the voltage. A bunch of them, a few of them were like 1.6. And they weren't that, oops, that was, wow. Did you see that? It's either your 50% right, 50% wrong. Let me just make sure that I'm not getting. And if you see here, whoa, it charges. Nice, super pumped, super pumped. And you see on the wall, the input is charging. When it uh, finishes charging, it, the green light will turn off and it's charged. And I charged it all the way and it gave me like 4.6 voltage. Seems pretty good and should be over five, but they're old batteries, but they still work. So anyway, change the lithium battery inside, zip tied the little bitch up and it's working and it looks pretty safe so far. So anyway, super, super, super excited that I actually changed the battery, took an old thing that I wasn't using and um, and used to something that is actually important that I needed, okay? This is an old, I bought this and it was like 3,000 yen at the time. So it was like 30 bucks when I bought it. I used it a couple weeks and then it just fucking died on me. Like I remember it was shitty. So, brought it back to life and uh, seems okay now. Anyway, has a little zip ties. It seems pretty cool and uh, it's working. Anyways, take it easy. Thanks for watching and uh, keep it tight. I right. the fuck was that?